This is a TVC module that is extremely simple to build because it's simply a pump and inside the yellow submarine there is exactly the same pump and it also has the same anti-jamming mechanism. I got building instructions for this small module so if you got a yellow submarine you can easily use these instructions as well in order to build something like this. But for this video I'm going to show how the mechanism works so I got a small mock-up of the mechanism I also got a mock-up of the anti-jamming mechanism so you can see how it works and there's also some action going on in the inbox in order for the balls not to get jammed in here. So let's go into the details. Now let's take a look at the pumping mechanism. So if you're running the module, then you can see a sleigh going back and forth and a wheel that is actually pushing the sleigh. So it's not that easy to see right here, which is why I have a mock-up. So this is what's going on. We have the motor on this side turning a wheel that pushes here. The sleigh is yellow, so it's easier to see. The ball comes in from one side, like this, and gets pulled down and pushed up on the other side. And when the wheel comes back, the yellow part makes sure that the ball is kept on the other side. And that is the mechanism. This is a rigid mechanism, which also means that there's a risk of the balls getting stuck. So we got the anti-jamming mechanism. As you can see on the module, it is right here next to the motor before it gets into the pump. Yes. So usually during normal operation, the mechanism will simply turn around and there's no problems at all. If we go in the other direction, this clicker here will prevent the big wheel from turning. And this will happen. So you can see it's actually got disengaged because there's such a big pull in the other direction once the wheels in the middle jump and they skip like this. So when this happens, there'll be enough of a motion inside of the pump for any ball that is currently stuck to get unstuck. It works quite well in practice and it can really help with the modules where you have this kind of problems. So, the third part that is smart is to make sure that the inbox is not static. So the floor is actually moving inside of this module. You can see it like this. You can see this part goes up and down. And this is actually the pump sleigh going back and forth, which is pushing this part up and down. When we have a lot of balls inside of this inbox, like this, it almost looks like a heartbeat going up and down. See? Up and down. And let's just go in the other direction until the balls are pushed inside of the module again. Then, when we have this kind of motion in here, and if we are unlucky, the balls are in a position where they do not get into the center part of the module, then the moving floor will make sure that the balls are pushed out of that lock position so that they again can start getting into the pump mechanism and hopefully in a couple of seconds start getting through again. So that is how you make a very simple module like this and it is actually quite reliable if I can aim. And now let's see how it works with the other module. I got roughly about 100 balls here and it's just one on one. Now you can see how the inbox is actually jammed over here, but because the floor is moving, it will start getting pulled in again. 